Welcome to Learning Bites. We're looking at being intentional and the things that help you in that space. And particularly today, I want to talk about your environment. Do you want to go into your office? Do you want to go into your workshop, into your home? And if the answer to that is no, my suggestion to you would be look at what you can control. And for many of us, we can control our environment, the way we lay things out. I know for me personally that one of the things that really used to get me down is that my desk seemed to have this magical ability to breed paper. I'd put one sheet of paper on it and I'd come back and there'd be like dozens of them everywhere, little notes scribbled all over them. And they were so precious that I couldn't go and get rid of that piece of paper because it might have a note on it. And so I just accumulated more and more paper and my desk was a mess. And it was always overwhelming coming into that space. I had to take some fairly dramatic action because I found that every time I put paper on my desk, I would write on it and then I would add more paper and I wouldn't get rid of that. And so what I landed up doing was making a decision that I wanted an environment that was clean and allowed me to think clearly. And so I got rid of all paper. This year I've been absolutely ruthless with that. I made sure that I finish every day with an absolutely clear desk and it's made a difference. It's made it a lot easier to come in and to have a fresh mind with a fresh desk in front of me. Your environment impacts your energy, your flow, if you like, being able to help you get into the zone. And I encourage you to look at how you've set yourself up. Are you set up to succeed? Is your environment weighing you down or facilitating flow? We have more control over our environment than we often admit to ourselves. And so I encourage you today to have a look at what is the low hanging fruit that you've got around you? What could you tidy up? What could you put away? What could be better filed? To go away and actually do that. Take the 10 minutes, maybe even half an hour to set yourself up so that when you come in tomorrow, you feel like you want to work. You feel like you want to go to this place, be it your workspace, your workshop, even home. Have it as a space where you feel like you're, you're bringing your best self to your best environment possible. Here's to your success. Thanks so much for watching. If any of this resonated and you'd like to reach out, feel free to give me a call on 0272-987-523 or email me at mike at thinkright.co.nz or if you would like some additional resources, go to our website, www.thinkright.co.nz.